Hi everyone, I'm Hannah with the Artmobile. Welcome back to our fifth virtual art class. Today we are going to be making chalk animal drawings. Uh, the supplies that you'll need for today's project are quite simple. All you need is a black piece of paper, a pencil, and some white chalk. So go ahead and gather those supplies and we'll get started. So you'll notice that we're not using any color in today's drawing because instead we're going to focus on value. Value is highlights and shadows or darks and lights in a drawing. Value is measured in something called contrast. An image with low contrast would be washed out, um, mostly gray tones, whereas an image with high contrast has really dark black shadows combined with bright white highlights. Because we're using white chalk on black paper, we're gonna be creating a very high contrast drawing today. We're gonna to begin by creating a four step value scale. So on your page using your white chalk, go ahead and draw a thin rectangle and divide it into four boxes. We're gonna practice creating a range of values in our chalk, beginning with a really bright white so that's created by pressing down as hard as you can with your chalk and making it a solid fill. Then we're going to fade to some darker values. So in the next box, you're going to color in solid, but not quite pressing down as hard. And you can use your finger to blend your chalk. In the next box, we're going to go even lighter, so barely touching the page with your chalk. And blending with your finger. And in the last box, um, you don't even need to put your chalk on the page. You can simply use some of the chalk um, from a different area in your drawing to just get a very, very subtle value. This would be for a really dark shadow that's not completely black. So there you have four different values created with chalk. Another thing that you need to know before we begin our drawings today is how to create some texture using chalk. Um, so because we're drawing animals that might have fur or scales or feathers, um, it can be helpful to figure out some ways to create really fine lines and details. One of these ways is by uh, sort of scratching your paper first with your pencil. So when you sketch out your drawing, if you have areas um, of texture, so areas that maybe you need wrinkles or fine lines, you can use your pencil and press down um, fairly hard on your paper and this will sort of engrave your paper. Then when you color over it with your chalk, those areas um, where your pencil was will stay black and the rest of your paper will turn white. So this method, again, is helpful um, for areas that you need really fine lines. Another way that you can erase or um, maintain your dark values is by using the eraser on your pencil just to take away some areas if it ends up getting uh, too light. Today we've chosen three black and white animal pictures for you to choose from. We have a bird, an elephant, and a deer. Feel free to pick whichever one you want. We will be demonstrating how to create this project with all three. When you're ready to begin, your first step is to sketch your animal using a pencil. No matter which of the three pictures you choose, um, it's important to note that your paper should be going up and down or tall like a portrait. Um, also, all three animals come in sort of from the right side of your picture and they're looking towards the left. So that's something to keep in mind as you draw. Um, try to fill your page with your animal drawing so that you have a lot of room for details. I'll be sketching all three, so feel free to choose whichever one you'd like to follow along with.
With your chalk, you're going to shade in the exact same way that you did with your value scale, starting with the brightest white areas and using less pressure for darker areas. It's very important while you do this that you really focus on your picture, um, especially details around um, the eyes, the nose, the mouth. Those are the areas where you really need to study your picture to try to capture it as realistically as possible. I'll go ahead and use chalk on all three of these drawings. Feel free to follow along which, with whichever one you are creating today. Thank you for joining us for today's chalk drawing. We hope you enjoyed the project and we would love to see what you've created. Uh, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram and tag us in your finished creations at Seabus Artmobile. Thank you and we look forward to our next project.